I get asked a lot what I do to clean my Blackstone after every use. So just a little quick little video. I cooked some food on it earlier today. First thing we're going to want to do is uh, make sure that it's hot. So I'm just going to fire it up. Let it sit for a few minutes so that it heats up. While that's heating up, a couple things you're going to need. Obviously paper towels. You're going to need a scraper. You're going to need some long tongs. Uh, I have a squirt bottle with some water in it and a squirt bottle with some canola oil. And I have one of these little orange pad scrapers that I bought, the restoration kit I think from Blackstone. It has a pumice stone and everything if you're like really wanting to strip it down or whatever. I use this just to uh, make sure if there's any like food like stuck that I can't scrape off or whatever, this helps kind of smooth it off a little bit. All right, so it's been heating up for about four or five minutes now. You don't need to get it like super hot, uh, just hot enough to where you can scrape all the stuff off of it. Again, mine doesn't stick very much, which is the point. So I don't have too much work to do, but just gonna scrape every, all the loose stuff off. I cooked some bacon and some hash browns and some eggs earlier. So it's not too dirty. But we're just gonna scrape all this excess stuff off. Doesn't need to be perfect, just as good as you can get it. Now comes the magic. Take a paper towel with our tongs, and I'm about to violate the biggest rule in blackstone griddling. I'm going to dump water right on it. See that sizzle? What that's going to do is it's going to pull up any excess oil off of the griddle with the water. I'm going to swish this paper towel around to help pull it off. Just very light strokes back and forth. That's pulling any of your excess food and oils off of the griddle top. See all that that's coming off? So get all that nice and wiped up. I'm going to do that twice just to make sure we got everything off of it. Cleaner now. Make sure you get your corners really good. Not putting very much pressure on this at all. You don't need much. Just getting that surface stuff off. Now, drill back to your default seasoning. So at this point, I'm going to turn it off. Don't need any more heat from here. Then I'm just going to run this over it very lightly. Again, you don't want your griddle too hot when you do this. The water does cool it off a little bit. But this just smooths it off. Again, this scrubber pad is just an optional step that I like to do. So now that surface is nice and smooth. Now we're going to take our canola oil. I just make a little squirt on there. Get our paper towels. Get our tongs. And then this is the light coat of oil that we're going to leave behind. Again, just want to coat the whole top, kind of like you're seasoning it.
but we don't want to leave a great deal of puddle on there. <coughs> That's nice and coated all the way around. But still a little, a little thick. So we're going to take another paper towel and get a little bit more of it off. Again, we just want a light, thin coat. The heat is still in it. We'll help it soak all that in. Tell just by looking at it in some spots where the oil is a little thicker, you just want to smooth that out with your paper towel. I always like to make sure I do the sides, don't want them rusting either. One more quick swish and sway, and we're done. And that's it. The heat will soak the rest of that canola oil in and your season will be perfect to go next time you're ready to use it.